Well, they've uh, made these much easier to drive. One additional set of tires for this race. I'm still slow. Um, half a second off pull. Number five car starting 12th. And that's only with 17 people actually putting a lap in. So who knows where I would have really qualified in this field. Um, way too easy center corner. I'm not looking for the wandering, but there's just so much grip in this tire that one time in practice, I hit the wall, and so I just got on the brakes, slowed down, did about uh, 30 mile an hour sideways. Car just rolled over because there was so much grip in the tires. Wasn't running into anything. Wasn't hitting the apron. It just rolled over coming down the banking. Uh, they just way too much center of corner speed. And you don't even have to lift all the way off the throttle. So, essentially they've made a slower version of the current cup car, it seems like. So, I thought everyone's complaining in the forums might have been over-exaggerated, but I don't think so. So, we'll see how the race goes. And, uh, yeah, I think I made the right decision not to focus on this series this season. Green flag, green flag. Hopefully the driving standards is better. Just going to ease it in on the high side. We got contact behind us. Someone's in the wall. Someone's on the apron. Way down now. And try to get a run off the corner here. Don't know how much tire saving comes in. Hit the brakes a bit. That got it loose. That's a car stopped. That's going to be a wreck. And there it is. What is with purple cars all of a sudden going 10 miles an hour in front of me? All right, well. Yeah, this is... This is not worth driving. just no power. I can't even imagine how bad it is at short tracks now. Like, I don't understand why they feel like they have no power. These things should be pulling hard off the corner. And pretty slow through the corner, but maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So, Open. We will get through this race, I hope, and then, yeah, never, never return. So we got one set of tires. Do the normal, save those till the end, but hopefully we just go green from here on. Very doubtful with this many cars and as much issue as we saw there. Go ahead and uncheck this because we don't want fuel when we pit.
Yeah, just, they're like, they're trying to look at videos back in the era and make the racing like that. And I'm pretty sure most of those people were trying to stay alive and not going 100%. Or 110% like sim racers do. So, I I just I don't get why why they dumped it down so much. Why the tires have so much grip? But it's disappointing. I mean, this car, I guess. It will be a uh, just Talladega Daytona thing. Even though we got a couple of splits, but it is on a free track. I know that last week when I looked when it was at North Wilkesboro, it uh, maybe had 10 cars signed up for it. So, just, uh, I don't know. They're just, seems like they're going in the wrong direction to please the it's too hard people and then having it fixed set up has not helped I mean it gets me driving it because I'm not going to put effort into this but not impressed with what they've done still no new damage model so green flag green flag Everyone hitting the brakes and just got out of it and moved down so we didn't get wrecked. There's some more miss shifts that we're used to. You're not turning down under like that, dude. Alright, so we got some blinking going on. Someone might be spinning. Yes, yeah, someone's spinning. Still spinning? There's nowhere to go right now with these four all packed up. So we're just going to ease off of it. I'm not going three wide. Outside. Two cars going to try, though. Clear outside. I really do not want to be in this pack. Oh, seven car, what the hell are you doing? Jesus. All right. I mean, look at how much throw. I'm just flat footing halfway through the corner. All right, so we survived so far. Let's get around this seven. It doesn't hold us up anymore. And now we got the eight car too. One car running into the eight. What the hell the one car is doing? Clear inside, inside. Still there, inside. Clear. The 
why he's all of a sudden half spinning everywhere. All right, back to where we were. this one car so into ninth about ready to complete lap 14 11 car just had a horrible entry tires are already off half a second Eleven and the twelve fighting hard. We're gonna have to figure out where to go on that. Which right now is nowhere. But yeah, there's no effort in handling this car. This is probably easier than the cup car. God, these two are annoying the hell out of me. Get going. it in the wall somehow. Now let's get past the 11. Just step on the gas. Just no need to even worry about the throttle control. Who knows, maybe it'll come back and bite me, but at the moment... I don't have to do anything. There's no effort in driving these. Alright, so that's seventh. Getting a little tighter on entry. We'll uh, go ahead and move this back. Yeah, I might have burned the right front up. Get this guy by me because he's been trying to wreck us for the last five laps. Start lifting early. God, this guy is terrible.
Yeah, he's gonna completely run into the two. That's just uh, blinking smoke. Oh, no, someone actually spun. All right, so that's going to put us back in seventh. Two cars have been running the high side this whole time. I'm guessing he knows something I don't. Car behind's entering the corner extremely hard now. But I'm also getting out of it and rotating on entry with the brakes. Save that right front because it felt like it was really going bad. And I'm guessing quite a few of these front cars will be falling back to us. feel at the moment we're quicker than the two. Question is, how much time am I going to waste if I try to pass him because he's now down running the bottom? We're pulling away from the guys behind. I think I just hang out behind him. Still a long ways to go. And it's not like I'm going to pull away from him. So we're going to just sit here and see if we catch the two cars in front of the one. As they pull away from me there. Let's see how much the tires have left in them. Last lap. Yeah, it's not completely worth it, stressing the right sides that much. Actually, a little better line like that right there. So, easy 7th place at the moment. Twenty to go this time by. These two cars are actually dropping really fast in front of the one. So at the moment, it's looking like a fifth place. But that's going to require actually getting around these people. Oh, he's in the wall. Stay in the wall. Point five, 
Did you go a little quicker too? I don't want this guy getting any ideas behind me because he's overdriving the hell out of the entry. All right, he's in the wall again. We're nearly in the wall again. Get around the 23, and then we'll think about what we'll do with the two. But I think the two is just saving. All right, that's fifth. Enter middle, and then just slam on the throttle. Lead two cars seem to be coming back to us as well. That was a bit too much wheel in it. I think I heated up the right front a lot there. Try to be a little easier on it. Just gotta hope we don't get a caution. Two cars picking up his speed a bit. We don't have enough laps to catch those leaders. Probably could have made a move there, but it wouldn't have done us any good. Eighteen's kind of got his shit together. It's been staying point seven back now. One of the leaders has fallen off pretty hard. Three point two to second. Yeah, stayed even. Brake drag on entry. Both of us got a little too low there. Ten to go. And 
them, they're battling for the lead. And that's dropping them closer to us, so... Not sure what happened with the three car. got to start thinking about our move on the two if we can even do one it's gonna be difficult he hasn't made any mistakes really I think the biggest thing we can do is come in middle and do a drive off but that did not work he's definitely picked up the speed Now, most likely me just slamming onto the throttle, even though I can do it, is not good. And I'd be better off easing into it. Ah, you fucks. Alright, now people at the back of the pack are going to get tires and come blasting through. And just plow through everyone. I'm gonna say we got fifth. Looks like the 18's the car that crashed, because he's no longer around. Not pitting. It's more of a chance of a wreck happening, so going back is not gonna be worth it. Plus, they're still. 23 people on the lead lap. Kind of amazed we didn't get to lap traffic. That was a fun run, though. Just pretty much dead even with the 1 and 2, so... feel good about that. So yeah, um, a lot of people pit. We got six cars behind us that didn't pit, and so we got to hope that they get a bad start and the people on fresh tires have to check up a bit. It's just fresh tires are going to be so quick. It's what our fast lap is a 31.7 and we did 32.5 on our last time lap. So it's a second quicker. But there is such a massive chance of a wreck happening right on the restart with these people trying to get spots that it's better off to stay out. Now, if I was the leader, what I would do is come to the line and do not go early. The earlier you go, the more spread out it's going to be, the less chance there's going to be someone running someone over into turn one. I know it's a shitty way to race it, but you got to control the race and try to win. But top five are top five in I rating. So, you know, sometimes I rating picks it out pretty well. Well, yeah, we're just gonna hope that new tires don't get to us. We're going to be at 48 and then 49 when we restart, so it's going to be a two-lap run to the end. And very well could be caution 
as we're going through one and two. If not, I will most likely get caught and passed, but it's uh, better than pitting, losing six spots, and then instantly having the yellow come out on the restart. At least in my mind. One left to green. One minute, twenty-one point one nine eight. But yeah, the uh, the car has way too much grip. You just slam on the throttle. It's uh, no throttle control needed. No, not even steering. Like. I could see if you slammed on the throttle and kind of had to work the wheel to keep it. But it's there's nothing there. It just feels like a dead dead car, like maybe a faster street sock. And I think the street sock's actually harder to drive. Not at tracks like this, but at short tracks, so. Yeah, we could start in first, but that's not going to be worth it. About to go green, stay focused. Can't see the leader. Alright, car behind got a bad start. Don't miss shifts. And let's try to not get passed by new tires. Oh, it doesn't have much grip now. They're wrecking yellow, and that's why I didn't pit. Pace around one more time. And call it good. So, at least we had a clean race. Almost got ran over a couple of times by the one car. And, uh, yeah. Just didn't have enough speed difference to make a move on the two. Not in the situation that we were in. So I know that kind of made it boring sitting behind him, but... He didn't make a mistake, and... It just, it wasn't worth the risk. Bring home a top five. And uh, say goodbye to these cars until it drives like a race car. The Jetta's harder to get through a corner in a 1.5 mile. So, fifth place as the five car. Everyone kind of finishes where they're supposed to in the front. 17 and 21 have a good chicken run. Flag, chicken flag. Never drive back to the pits. Good job. Very good job. Under caution. So it could black flag you. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at results. Not even a whole lot to watch in replay. Let's see if results show up. really weird. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. Everyone's finished. Yeah, race is official. The countdown timer has started. So results should be up here. There we go. Alright, so... Take that off, and we gain 41i rating, and get 0.56 safety rating, because I went over the 4.0. And yeah, zero incidents out of the top five, so really clean race. Pretty, a lot of clean racing. It's for, 
the hell is this? 17 incidents and 21 incidents? How are you guys just running into each other? 128 points, so a little higher than what I normally get. And yeah, I just felt in control of the car the whole time. There was no no issue driving it. Let's check out the tires. 5371 by the car in front of us, 5575. <sighs> so decent race. And yeah, that was nice to not get wrecked and not wreck myself and not do anything stupid. So hopefully you enjoyed it and we will, yeah, I don't, I would love for this car to be fun, but that was, that was so stale, so boring. So, oh well, at least we got a bunch of other things that we can race. So thanks for watching.